As part of a humanitarian aid initiative, Azerbaijan has transferred an unmanned revival P demoning vehicle to the State Emergency Service SES, of Ukraine. This move is part of Azerbaijan's ongoing support for Ukraine's humanitarian demoning efforts in territories recently freed from occupation. The donation was announced by the Ukrainian Caesars Press Service. The unmanned demoning vehicle was received by sappers in the Poltava region. In addition to providing the equipment, representatives from the manufacturing company arrived in Ukraine to conduct training sessions for the future operators of the Revival P. The Revival P is a sophisticated demoning system, designed to operate in environments where land mines and other unexploded ordnances pose a significant risk. As an unmanned demoning equipment, the Revival P is specially adapted to intervene in areas where human intervention would be too dangerous. This machine is equipped with technologies that enable it to detect and neutralize mines and other explosive devices with high precision. Thanks to its sensors and navigation system, the Revival P can map areas contaminated with explosives, identify potential threats, and neutralize them autonomously or by remote control. This capability to operate independently significantly reduces the risks for deminers. This donation from Azerbaijan was announced during a meeting between Ukraine's Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs, Bodan Drapiety, and the Azerbaijani Ambassador to Ukraine, Seymour Martaliev. The SES also revealed that additional demoning machines are expected soon, totaling 18 units from various countries such as the Republic of Korea, Canada, Austria, Azerbaijan, and the United Kingdom. The SES unveiled the types of unmanned demoning systems currently in their possession, including an arm track 400 from United 24, Dilkan GMV 10 4 vehicles from the Howard Buffett Foundation, GSC 200 machines from Canada, a Digger D 250 from Switzerland, and a Dilkan GMV 4 from Estonia. Russia has heavily mined Ukrainian territory, making any advancement very complicated to achieve. The dispatch of demoning equipment is thus not trivial, and Ukraine is in great need of such equipment. The total necessity of these vehicles, as noted by the rescuers, is 41 units, highlighting the magnitude of the demoning challenge in the region.